today's adventure, we're going to wire a 4x4 four four inch electrical junction box. So I was just confirming that which one of the wires was the hot wire. Now usually, even before I mount the box, I will have the knockouts that I'm going to use already knocked out and connectors already put in them. But for the sake of doing the video, I didn't do that this time. So it's a lot easier to knock these out when you don't have the box mounted where you want it yet. So you can see where I couldn't just knock that out easily. So I'm going to use a 3 8 non-metallic connector for the non two wiring and a 3 8 halux connector for the Romex wire. You can see here I have a little trick to tighten that up. Makes putting these in easy. Now with the Nomen tube to strip the insulation off, I just run my cutters around it and then twist the insulation off. And I'm pushing that through the non metallic connector. Now in this box, I'm going to run 14 gauge Romex wire from the fuse box to the junction box. And the reason I'm using 14 gauge is the Nomen 2 wire is 14 gauge. So I don't want anyone to see the a 12 gauge wire in the electric panel and assume they can just throw a 20 amp breaker on there. So I will keep the run, the run from the box to this box 14 gauge. And that matches the knob and tube wire. And usually if, if I don't confirm the entire circuit, I actually put a 15 gauge breaker on most of the wires if I can't confirm that it's entirely a 12 gauge wire throughout the whole entire circuit. And this is the 14 gauge Romex wire. And I'm just nipping that around the the sheathing and I'll pull that off. This comes in handy when you don't have the appropriate scrimper to do that. And same for the the conductors, I'll strip the insulation off them. I'll just go around and pull them off. Pull the insulation off. This takes a little amount of practice. You don't want to nick the wire when you do it. If you nick the wire, you should recut it and restrip that insulation off. Now I've brought the knob and tube into the box on opposite ends so they maintain their distance from each other.
Now, for the ground, we only have one wire going into the moss, so we don't need to peg tail this ground in any way. So the wire goes directly from the, the 14 gauge Romex to the box with a ground screw. You need ground screws, you can't get anything done as far as electrical work goes with non ground screws. So that's not something you want to forget to grab. Next, I'll hook up the white wire. I'll put the wire nut on there and I'll do it by hand. I don't want to tear up the, the knob and tube. Then the black wire. I'll tuck that in last. And everything fits in here comfortably. We're not jamming the wires into the box. Everything fits loose and that's very important. Kind of common sense when you're packing a, a box. If you're jamming everything in there, you, your box is probably not big enough. Okay, so that's sealed up. Now, this is some of the things I use. That's a 3 8 Halux connector that fits in your half inch knock on. And these are 3 8 non metallic connectors. And they fit in your half inch knock -outs. I use them for knob and tube. Usually nothing else. And of course, round screws. You just can't forget round screws. And that's it for this video. Good luck.